All right. Um, hello. We're going to install Python in Windows 7. So uh, to get started doing this, you need Python, and you can download it from python.org. On the left, there's a download link, and that gets you to this page. And um, a little bit down the middle of the page is the Python 272 Windows installer. As of today, that's the version we're going to get. So uh, I've downloaded that, and it's in my downloads folder. So I've not done this yet, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So double click the installer. I want to run this file, and I'm just going to walk through this. So um, install for all users. This is the location. I'm, I'm actually going to um, copy that and remember where that was at. So everything else, I'm just leaving the defaults. And this will probably take just a minute, but shouldn't take too long. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yes, I want to allow the following program to install. I lost control of my mouse for just a minute. So uh, hopefully this is the most boring part of this video. Um, doo -doo -doo. It'd be cool if I could just cut out this stuff, but hey, uh, if you're watching this, you see kind of how long it takes. Um, from the, uh, after having the the installer downloaded to this point we're at two and a half minutes so hopefully um, within another couple of minutes we'll have Python working all right cool so that's it we're done um, nice so I've got Python installed I think uh, if you click in the start window you should see idle and I don't have my my screen pointed at the start button but I've I've launched idle and here's idle and uh, there we go we've we've got python 272 now um, there may be cases where you want to use python from a command prompt so I'm I'm going to open a command prompt uh, if I can find one Okay, so here I've got a I've got a command prompt, and I'm going to type Python. That's how you launch Python from the command prompt. Unfortunately, it says Python is not recognized. So, what's going on here is P Python's not in our path. So let's go ahead and put Python in the path. So I'm not super familiar with Windows 7, but I think that's in the control panel. Um, Probably should have looked this up first. Um, let's try this. Um, system security system advanced system settings is what we want. Okay, so now that we've got to the system properties, uh, we want to set up environment variables and we want to modify the system variable so somewhere in this list there should be a variable called path and this is it so we need to edit this guy all right so the, we don't change the variable name but we will change the variable value and we need to go to the very end of whatever's here don't change anything uh, just append this to the end. We'll place a semicolon 
and then we'll paste. Remember, I, I copied that path where Python was installed. We'll just paste that here. And I'll say OK. And I'll save that. What that does is that tells your um, operating system where Python is installed. OK, at this point, I can close my control panel and uh, go back to my command prompt. I'll type Python. Well, it still says it's not installed. We, we need to close this command prompt and open it back up. So once you launch the command prompt again, I should now be able to type Python. And voila, Python 2.7.2. There we go. So that's it. That's how you install Python on Windows 7. That's how you set up the uh, path so that Python works from the command prompt. And that's just over six minutes. So thanks for watching.